Okay, from scratch, how to graph something on Jupyter Notebooks or Google Colab using Google Kaggle datasets, or really any data set that's a CSV file, and there's lots of them online. All right, so first of all, uh, you go to your Google Drive and open up a new um, more Google Colab. Okay, you can also go to an existing Google Colab um, if you haven't set that up and just do file new notebook, okay, that'll still work. But anyway, you get to here. Um, okay, uh, first thing you do is you've got to um, also find a data set. So here, here's one world population data set that I found on there. It's pretty common. I'm going to click download. This will download a CSV file. There it is, world population. I'm just going to drag that to my desktop. So now it's on my desktop. High five. Now I want to take this data set and put it in my Jupyter directory, my files for my Jupyter notebook. So here's my new Jupyter notebook. If you look at this little folder and click it, it says files. It takes a second, it says connected, connected to a runtime. You want to upload that world population thing, which was on your desktop, find it, uh, hit open. Okay, so now there it is. It's pot, uh, it, sometimes it takes a minute depending on how big the data set is, but it puts it in there. Okay, now I've got to get this into the Jupyter Notebook, right? So in order to do that, I need to import um, some, file, some uh, libraries. I'm going to cut and paste from a previous place so I don't have to, I can do it fast. Okay, so this is what this is doing is importing pandas, numpy, and matplotlib. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use pandas. Is a panda file called read CSV. Uh, see, I, it's um, a pandas uh, function. Okay, and what you want to do is um, read in world population CSV. Spell it the same way it's spelled. And let's give this. Uh, let's just call it D or something like that. D for data. Okay. Um, what this has done is it's read in the this file here. Uh, so if we go ahead and look at what the file looks like, um, you just hit D. It's going to tell you what the file looks like. So it looks like we have all these. This is a table. This is like many rows of this stuff, 234 rows. And it's got a bunch of population data. Um, awesome. So by the way, uh, if you go to your desktop and open this up in Microsoft Excel, um, It's the same data set, so maybe maybe what I want to graph here is uh, growth rate versus or world population percentage. I don't know. I'm just uh, versus area or something like that, or growth rate versus area. Maybe something like that might be interesting to look at. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try and graph that now. Uh, so okay, this has been read in. So let's make another code block. Uh, we've got to define on our x variable, so this is going to be, um, uh, so it's from the d or data directory, and I put in these brackets, and now you can select what you want. Um, let's do uh, area, so I'm, uh, I'm assuming this is like square area of, of the land, and then y, the y variable that I want to plot. Let's pick um, growth rate. Okay, so I've got go ahead and hit play on those, just so you can see what it looks like. That's the X. So it's a bunch of numbers. And uh, here's what Y looks like. Y looks like also a bunch of numbers. That's what I want to plot. Um, so this is growth rate. Um, let's go ahead and uh, plot it. So I want to plot x versus y. So plt.plot, x comma y. And I like I like to put these little x's to mark, make markers for each one. So there they are. There's a little x marks the spots. So you can see um, low number, high number of area. You know, I don't know if it correlates, but that's essentially it. That makes a graph. You can add titles and things in different ways. Um, there's lots of menus online to help you do that. But this is a very basic, like how to do it, real quick and dirty. 
Um, the, to recap, uh, you have to download your data set and then hit this plus sign to get this in. Import these libraries so that you can use pandas to, to read in the file. And then you can use matplot.lib. Uh, that's what this plt.plot function does. It comes from matplotlib to, um, to plot it. All right, uh, thanks for tuning in.